Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Operation True Love, episode 77. And of course my camera is still up and I'm still wearing the same clothes from that last week posting. Um, still feeding my baby. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Doing everything with one hand. That was unique. What is she doing there? <laughs> Yunyuk! Uh, whoosh. Come with me. Oh, there are the coffee shop. Mm. I want mine hot. <laughs> one hot chocolate and one ice americano. Please. He is frustrated. The little <laughs> swirling around right there. Here's your hot chocolate and Americano. Sue Aisha. Did you get home okay? <laughs> Not yet. Sue. Still? Why? Did something happen? <laughs> no, don't worry. Message sent. <sighs> Sue. Okay. If anything happens, you have to call me, okay? <laughs> You're quite dependable, it turns out. <laughs> All right, I will. Can I come sit next to you? Sure. He is so cold towards her. So rigid. <laughs> From now on, I would like it if you didn't come to see me like this. Uh, uh. Wow, that's harsh. I have a busted lip and that's all you have to say? She looks a little psychotic at this angle, okay? Aren't you curious who did it and why, if it hurts or not? Do you not care about me anymore? Do I need to? Uh, yes, you do. You said you took care of me. Are you abandoning me too? How could you decide on something like this? What? Without consulting with me? Are you even thinking straight? How else am I supposed to understand it? Right. Um, whatever you need. I'll be there. Let's go. I'll take you home. She's, she's so good at, like, guilt, tri guilt tripping him. Now, I want to finish my drink. What's the hurry? I'm transferring to another school. Oh, uh, really? Huh. Do you think you knew it will take you if you cling to him now? You and I are both the same. Both trash. Who'd want to trash like you, huh? Trash needs to be thrown away. Are you even sorry? Sorry. I'll apologize. Huh. You're crazy. Why? Is that not enough? Do you want to slap me or something? What? Just hit me and get it over with. I'm tired of this. Fine. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, he really did it? What are you doing? Is that good enough? 
Let's stop seeing each other now. She is so crazy. Did she do that to herself or did he really hit her? Ouch. Ugh. He thinks we're the same? Operation True Love, episode 77. Mm. It's irrefutable that Meringue is a top entertainment company, but honestly, I think its management ability is totally inferior compared to their reputation. If Cindy, the Black Rose of Versalities, have been published by another company, it would never have taken off, but... It's my opinion that this comic is responsible for their inferior management ability. Here's why I think this. One, the black. The black, a male duo group inspired by the male protagonist of Cindy, the Black Rose of Rosales. At the time, the group was popular because of the members, but people hated the crappy concept. The members' names were Ed and Gray, the same names as the characters in Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles. Edward Gray. Two, Cindy. From Cindy onwards, they didn't explicitly say the concept was taken from the time of Cindy, probably because they were criticized for the crappy concept with the Black Cindy. Everyone knew that the motive behind Cindy was Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles. Do I have to, do I have proof? Cindy's concept photo when she first de debuted. The illustration for the second volume of Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles. <laughs> what do you think? Totally similar, right? Three, Black Ver. Black Ver. This time it became more su subtle because, maybe because Cindy was criticized for her conceptual likeness. It was a five-member boy band called Black Ver. You think their concept is completely different? How are they related to Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles, in any way? Look at their name carefully, Black Ver. <laughs> Black from the Black Rose of Versailles, Ver from Versailles. Fine, this can be a coincidence. But look at the member's name. Ace, Dean, Denver, Hugh, Woody. Unit album list related documents. Cindy's Horses. Ace, Dean, Denver, Hugh, Woody. Oh. All right, guys. My baby needs a burp rag. I mean, did I have to be, does it have to be horses names? What did the Black Ver members do to deserve that? Wow. Wow. It really does seem like the CEO of Meringue is involved somehow. I think I stumbled across something. Uh, huh? Four. And lastly, George, a solo male artist soon to debut. The one might be a rash judgment because there's no teaser or anything like that out yet. But the name of the son of Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles, is George. Ha. Huh. To be honest, I wrote this post because I'm a fan. I was a fan of the solo artist George, even while he was a trainee. So I'll be upset if another crappy concept was used again. So... I'm posting here in the hopes that they'll beat him up. Because then maybe they'll change it. But I know they won't. Either way, George is debuting on XX. Support him. Please support him. <laughs> Music news. Early release of George debut. The boy who had to disappear. The boy who had to disappear. <gasps> George? Ding! Pal Pal Han 88. Asu, which character are you most soft on in Cindy the Black Rose of Rosales? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Tut tut, Sue. 
Mm. I have a soft spot for the character George. Actually, George is a character that can't exist in the world of becoming the Black Rose, Rose Girl for Sally, right? Because he's Edward and Cindy's child. Becoming the Black Rose Girl of Versailles includes all characters in Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles. In a way, George is a child that had to disappear in becoming the Black Rose Girl of Versailles. Though I am the author, I'm also an enthusiastic enthusiastic fan of becoming the Black Rose Girl for Sally's, so I feel both sad and sorry. I'm the one who erased George's existence, but paradoxically, I want to protect him, too. Huh. Is my reply too long? Ding. Oh. Pal Pal Hat, 88. Whoa. George? I would never would have guessed. I think I'm gonna have a soft spot for George every time I see him now, too. Cry, whimper, go stop. They have an endearing way of expressing themselves. Just like a text message. Hello, connect it. Where else have I read this type of prose? Oh, she's connecting it. I just know this comment. No way, please say Sue. I've been waiting for episode 78 forever. Everything I tell you from now on has to be our secret. Don't tell anyone. Oh, why? Why? You want to know who I am? Why are you even dating him? She's connecting it. Should we just call it quits? It's not even funny anymore. It's just a nuisance. They're too similar. Could all this be a coincidence? If Pao Pao Han 88 is a diehard fan of my novels, and the CEO of Meringue are the same person. Can I not use that? Ding. The final chapter. Oh, oh, she's finally playing chess, guys. This whole time she's being chased around playing checkers. And now she's finally flipped the script and playing chess oh now it's gonna get fun and interesting all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i read this and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye